you guys so this is another video for what's good so last night it, it's it's been a journey everyone okay i apologize one i'm gonna apologize because it's i know like i've tried to post or tried again try to post every day but a lot of stuff has particularly happened in the past couple weeks to where i'm just <laughs> with work i just get off at a later time and then I'm exhausted and then also the content that has been around I'm like you know especially with this particular playlist it's just been a struggle to find something new <laughs> to watch and a lot of the shows that I do watch the new seasons aren't out yet or some of them like I know for myself I enjoy them but is it something that other people would enjoy as well you know so when I try to recommend things it's where I think the majority would enjoy with that in mind I finally have found a show that I think other people will enjoy that is not just me so in this case it's called Gilded Age it's on HBO Max and it's from the creator, creators of Downton Abbey. Mind you, I tried to watch Downton Abbey like a couple years, or actually a year ago, because I was like, I want a new show. I've heard good things about Downton Abbey. Love British television. I'm like, this this should be good for me. Like, I, I think I will enjoy it. It's just something about it, like it wasn't sticking with me. It wasn't something where I was like fully attached to it. So I gave it a few episodes. I, I was still trying to continue to watch, but it, it just, it wasn't for me. However, Gilded Age. Think of it as almost an Americanized uh, Bridgerton, if you will. Of course, Bridgerton is like a tad more entertaining. There's always like a little bit more drama. And of course, Julie Andrews in it. So like, that's always a plus too. But with the Gilded Age, I think I enjoyed a little bit more as well because it goes through historical events that are happening in America. And I know anyone who has been a part of the education system here in America, you learn essentially the same main things, Civil War, um, Industrial Revolution, American Revolution, all that good stuff. And so knowing those already key facts that you know, a lot of us, but in America at least, already know. That's something I think, like, I don't know, kind of resonates with what we learned in school and what we kind of already know. But the first episode already had me hooked. I was going to go to bed early last night because, like, sleep hasn't been a thing, but I stayed up watching <laughs> because I was sucked in. I needed to know what would happen. It's mostly centers around uh, women, you know. Um, however, like there are some key male figures, but it's just really fascinating to see like these different leads and learning their stories and how will their motivations continue going forward. <clears throat> Sorry. And so, of course, it's only been the first episode. But let me tell you, if a show can grab me in the first episode, most likely it's a show that you can watch and that you will enjoy. So I highly recommend Gilded Age. Give it a watch. I've only watched the first episode. I, I think you I think you would enjoy it. If you enjoy like Bridgerton, maybe you also did enjoy Downton Abbey. Um, like if you like things like that and maybe hearing a little bit more about like a historical kind of aspect of facts that you may know. I think it's a it's a good watch. I really enjoyed it, at least the first episode that I watched. So take that with a grain of salt if you want. Feel free to leave comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Bye.